Hey guys, Linda here. Welcome back to part two of my November December wrap up. And let's get right into it. First up, I have is Forever Wild. I read this uh, in December, and this is K8. This is the last book in her Simple Wild series by K.A. Tucker. I read the first book. It was the, the book was called The Simple Wild. That was book one. Book two was Wild at Heart. I gave both of those books four and a half stars. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, just a nice romantic love story uh, and you don't have to worry about a whole bunch of steaminess because it's not there's some uh, steamy content but they're not over the top I think you can manage it <laughs> they're not too steamy just a nice good little love story I really really enjoy both of those books I really really highly highly recommend the simple wild and wild at heart and then she uh, capped it off with a just a wrap up of their love story. This is a nice little novella. It was only a hundred and um, hundred and forty five pages, and it's really like a Christmas novel because in this, uh, the two main characters, Calla and Jonah, they're celebrating Christmas at their house. They they live in uh, the they live in the Alaska wilderness in a small Alaskan town community, and he's a uh, bush pilot. And they are celebrating. They are. They've invited all their family members uh, to come to that to come to Alaska to spend Christmas with them. And I just really, really enjoyed this one. A nice little wrap up. It felt like I was reading a longer story, but it was like only a hundred. Like I said, it was only like hundred and forty-five pages. But it, it. She just had a lot crammed into it. And at first, when I was reading, I felt like it was kind of rushing things a little bit. But after that, I just got right into the story. And I give this, this is another four and a half star read for me. Overall, I recommend this whole series uh, if you hadn't read it yet. A nice romantic series that give you the, it gives you the feel. That first book had me crying because it's, I'm not going to get into all that. But I, I just really, overall... She did a great job with this series. And this is the uh, Simple Wild series. And this is I, and on uh, Goodreads. They have like 2.5. This is 2.5 other series. Like I said, this is just a small little novella. Just a wrap up of Kayla and Jonah's uh, romance. And I really, really enjoyed it. Highly, highly recommend it. The whole set. Please read the... Before you read this, you need to read the book one and book two. Because you ha you can't start in the middle on this book like I be doing sometimes. No, you have to start at the beginning if you want to check it out. Highly, highly recommend this series. The um, Simple Wild series. Check it out. I had to get the, even though this I paid a lot for this little novella, I had to have it. <laughs> so I had that. And then this was on my TV. People, I finally finished this book. This book, oh my goodness. I stopped my, my um, TBR. I think I did it in August and I didn't do an updated TBR. I'm still working on that August TBR <laughs> and I finally got to this book. I've read what two two or three books off the TBR. I finally finished this one. Gentleman Center. Um, Jody Ellen Moppas. Yeah. Her books. I enjoy her book but they 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 like uh, yeah it started this one started out slow people. Uh, oh my goodness. It picked up in the middle. And I finished it on out. But it took me from August to December to get this book finished. I finally finished it. And this is on Izzy White and Theo Kane. And Izzy is a nurse. And most of her books, if you like the 50, her books remind me of 50 Shades of Grey. Because y'all got the damaged hero. And then also the female characters was damaged because she got some stuff going on here in her past that done, that has damaged her so you got these two damaged characters and yes it has some steaminess in it yeah sexual content in this book so warning and um i enjoyed the story it just was moving it just didn't have those i don't know the uh, special moments for me it just took me forever like i said you can start reading you can read from chapter one and you can know when you start reading a book, if it's going to be, if it's going to go like just carry you on through, just put you on the back of the book shoulder and just carry you on through. Well, this one didn't do that. It was like, it was a struggle until I got to some interest, in, interesting parts in this book that I really, really enjoyed. But I did finish it. I hate, DN, I don't like DNF in books, so I just struggle all the way through. But 
because I think once you get like in the middle of the book to the meaty parts of it, it'll pick up. And this one did pick up. I give this a, a three and a half star book. But do I want to go back and read this book again? No. <laughs> no, I don't want to go back and read it. And like I said, it's on two damaged characters, Izzy and uh, Theo. He don't like to be touched or whatever. And it's just about her uh, trying to... Uh, work through her issues and then trying to work kind of work through his issues a little bit and he he want to find out what her issue is and she don't want to tell him and she want to find out what his issue is and he don't want to tell her it just was a lot of back and forth but overall like i said i gave it three and a half stars if you like jody ellen moppa's writing um uh, i think you'll enjoy this book but this one right here it didn't do it for me um uh, like i said i won't be going back i don't think and I read her, I forgot, what, what's the other book I read about her? Um, I read The Protector. Uh, I think I gave that three and a half stars. Maybe three and a, a high three and a half star. But the two books I read about her, I don't want to go back and read either one of them. I'm sorry to say. Yeah. <laughs> she Her books are okay, but they're, they don't have that, that unk factor. I don't know. I, I just need that chemistry really really good chemistry between the main two characters that good um uh dialogue the feedback uh, them talking to each other this was just like them just having a lot of yeah issues between his his issues and her issues and yeah it didn't do it for me but some of you out there might like that kind of stuff but i it didn't do it for me like i said uh i was still she's a good writer i was still i'm still I'm determined to find a good book from her from her that I actually want to keep. So I will still read. I got uh I think I bought I bought this man. I didn't buy the whole series because I know I, how I am with her books. So I just bought this man to see how I like it. And if I really, really enjoy it, I'll get the rest of them. But I just got this one. I haven't read it yet. Um I don't know when I'm gonna get to it, but yeah, I got this one right here. Uh so I'm determined to find a good book by her. Well, it's not like this book was bad, it's just that it didn't do it for me. Next, let me, let me move on because I can keep on going on. And that was Gentleman Center by Jolyn Ellen Moppas. I gave it a three and a half star. But it's nothing I want to read again. So we can move on from that. <laughs> and next I have Reasonable Doubt by Whitney G. She's a new author to me uh, in 2020. I really, really enjoyed this one. Warning. Highly, uh, a lot of sexual content going on in here, and this was on. Look, it, I'm not even gonna, I, yeah, <laughs> I was gonna show you back, but yeah, some words on here already jumping out at me that, yeah, don't need to be seen <laughs> on camera. But, um, this is on he's a businessman and he meets this woman, it's online. I know they meet online, and is it on a date match uh, website or something? But anyway, they get to chatting on there. And she tells him that she's trying to, uh, she wants to be a lawyer. And she and she know, she has found out that he's a lawyer. And she wants his help. I, it's something like that. I don't know for sure. And he wants to meet her, but she don't know. She don't want to meet him or whatever because she, she's lying on so, some of this stuff. <laughs> she done gave a false name and everything on here. And because uh, she done told her, because she's very, she's young. I think she just got out of um, college. She just graduated from college or whatever. But she don't tell him that. He thinks he's an older woman. And uh, he wants to meet her, but she, she keep putting it off. And uh, she asking him about... Uh, she, she's getting ready to have an interview and she asked him how she, she acted in her interview and he giving her some uh, pointers and come to find out this is one of them ones where they end up working at the same place because she's going to come in for an interview and he's going to be in there interviewing her and it's going to be some trigger warnings in here because when he found out who she is he's going to hem her up in his office doing things that he shouldn't be doing doing to a uh uh, employee because I think he's uh, getting ready to become partner at this firm that he's working with and he's doing inappropriate you know she had a case to, to uh sorry guys my camera went out look my camera going out already we just got started but uh she could have a case against him for sexual harassment because yeah he was very very inappropriate but she kind of had feeling for him, but I, on that part, I was like, what? And she didn't even, he didn't even, he didn't even bring it up to think that she could uh, press charges against him. That's the only uh, 
problem I had with this book was that first part where she actually he actually uh realized who she is and him her up in his office yeah that was kind of like over the top but other than that i really really enjoyed the book i gave it four and a half stars and it goes on from there him having feeling for her and eventually she's going to leave there and because she actually wants to be a ballerina she really went to school because her parents put pressure on her to become a lawyer or whatever and she really wants to be a ballerina she's been practicing she, i think she got hurt and that's why she didn't continue with uh, becoming a ballerina and um uh, but now that she's better or whatever, she's still trying to, uh, she, she don't let her mother know that, but she's still trying to take lessons or whatever. And she eventually she's going to end up leaving this job, but he's going to go out to her. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. But if you want to purchase this book, make sure you get the full series because I think Whitney G, when she first uh, published it, she was like doing chapters. She would like post chapters on Amazon and you had to buy, the, um, buy it in chapters, I think, or something like that. Uh, so if you want to purchase this book, make sure you get the full series. Make sure it's that full series right there. But I really, really enjoyed this. I highly, highly recommend. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I highly, highly recommend Whitney's G. Uh, Reasonable doubt. I really, really enjoyed this book. As you can see, I bought the actual book. <laughs> so let's move on. I know I had a hard time trying to describe that book right there because yeah, it was it was kind of over the top a little bit. But if you don't mind that, I highly, highly recommend it. So let's move on. Um, let's see what I, else I got on here. I'm going back to my Goodreads book. All right. I finally found what I was looking for. Here we go here. Uh, I got The King's Man by Elizabeth Kingston. And she is a uh, excellent writer. I uh, discovered her uh, this this year too. Um, this is a mid, I guess it's a mid, you could say it's a medieval romance. And... I, and really, really enjoyed this. I gave this book four and a half stars. Uh, the heroine in here is a very strong, if you like those strong female characters, cause, uh, because he ends up, they end up meeting when he is on a journey to go to, I think he's going to a, going to see a priest, but he ends up running to, into her clan. I think she's Welsh and she is the leader of the clan. She she can fight just like a man. She's very good with swords and all this stuff. And uh, but he don't realize it because when he first meet her, she's taking care of him because he gets beat up by her men because he's out there all alone and they capture him and he gets beat beat up. But she puts a stop to it and she's uh, healing him and taking care of him. And he just realized she's a female there. But when he get but when he get well. He don't see her anymore because she dresses as a man because, you know, back then they didn't allow females to do this. So she has to dress as a man. And that what that's why I really, really enjoyed this book. I really, really enjoyed the heroine's character. Um, I really enjoyed their interaction together. And I really, really enjoyed it. I highly, highly recommend this. And this is in a series. Uh, what is this series? This is the uh, Welsh Blades series. And this is book number one. And book number two is going to be on her mother. I didn't read book number two. Uh, I didn't get that one. Uh, the synopsis didn't do it for me too much. But it's going to be on the heroine in book one's mother. Her mother is a character in that book. She's a very, another, all of these books are on very, very strong female. And I did read book three. And that's the Desire Lines. And look, this book right here had me crying going on home. Because we got these two, two characters. We got the male character and the female character. Uh, both of them that had a hard time. Um, the male character, he like he's a uh, he worked with birds. They're falcons. They were falcons, and that's what he does. But um, before then, he was like a ward of the king because his dad was a prince. He was a Welsh prince, and you know the Welsh and the English they got to fighting, so they he had to go and stay with the king for you know to keep the peace or whatever. But it ended up where I think his family or somebody uh, wanted to start war again. So he ended up having to run away because, you know, they might would have killed him or whatever. But he didn't make it back home. He, yeah, he uh, ended up, I think he went and stayed at a, um, he also went to a monastery and stayed there. But then the monastery got raided and then he got captured and the people that captured him didn't treat him well. So when he meets the female character... 
she actually saved him from the people that captured him. That that's why I say in all three of these books, if you like um, very strong will, very strong female characters, I think you'll love this series. And I really, really enjoyed this one too. I gave this book right here uh, a four star. I didn't enjoy it as much as I enjoyed the first book, but this book right here, I look, I cried through this one. <laughs> It had me up in my feels <laughs> just because of what they were going through. But the um, but I enjoyed the romance between the the first two care in the first book more than I enjoyed the romance between these two. But it was a good they they had a good chemistry, but it just had me all up in my feels there. Yeah. So like I said, if you want to read about strong female characters, read this series, and this is the uh, Welsh Blade series by Elizabeth. Kingston I read book number one and book number three and book number this is book number two but I didn't read uh, book number two uh, I went into that synopsis you can read these without you don't have to read these in order they they are like standalone uh, books and this is fair bright and terrible this is book number two which I didn't read I just read one and three uh, so let me go back to my Kindle here I was uh, in a uh, I was on Amazon there because uh, I did, for some reason it was an um I didn't have the uh, third book on my Goodreads, so I got to add that there. Uh, next up, I have, I read Emma Chase. Let me pull it up here. I read, I read The Wilderness Within by Emma Castle. So, if this book right here, if you don't want to read anything about a pandemic, this might not be for you. I was reading this, I was like, oh my goodness. I'm like, no. <laughs> so he is a, um, he's in the military. And when he comes back home, I think he was overseas. When they come back home, the world is struck by a pandemic. And they can't, they haven't found a cure yet. And he, he is put on the president detail to protect the president. And they end up in a bunker. And everybody in the bunker dies except him. So the world is in a terrible place. And I gave this book a three star because it didn't do it for me. The Rent Romance didn't do it for me because it was like insta love because I felt like it was insta love because he felt like, you know, there wasn't no other females around at the time when he kept, he catches a glimpse or of the heroine and he instantly feel like he need to protect her. He need to take care of her and he wants her. And I just didn't, I didn't feel the love people. I didn't feel it. <laughs> And I kind of figured out where this book was going before it even ended. I was like, yeah, it didn't do it for me. But if you want to read about a pandemic, which you probably don't, because I was like, oh, my goodness. But that's what this is about. The world is in a bad place. And him and this, it's about him and this female trying to survive in this uh, world where um, a pandemic is going on. And there are other people they, they run across because. She's trying to make it back because she was on her way home when all this struck. She was on her way to visit her parents when all of this started happening. And she was in the airport because they had stopped all the planes from flying. And she was in the airport. And next thing you know, somebody in the airport got sick. And it just wiped out everybody at the airport. Yeah, it, it was a lot going on. So this might not be for everybody. But I did read this. I gave it three stars. This is A Wilderness Within by Emma Castle. Um, let me see what else I have on here. I also read Hard Pass by Sarah Nay. I was I've been looking for a book to read by Sarah Nay, and I found this one. I thought this was gonna be a full length, full length book, but this is a novella, and this is in her Trophy Boyfriend series. I think this is book one. Let me see here. Yep, this is book one of the Trophy Trophy Boyfriend series, and it was okay. I think he's a uh, is he, he he's either a baseball player or a football player i think he is a baseball player and they meet when she is trying to start a business and her grandfather left her some baseball cards and the and the hero in this story he he's collect old baseball cards and her granddad had some very old baseball cards and so she put them up for sale and the main hero sees it so he um messaged her that he want to buy the cards and instead of him going to pick up the cards from her, he sent his friend, who's a douchebag, <laughs> who throws her all off. And she, um, when he, uh, when the main hero contacts again by getting uh, some more uh, cards, she don't think so because she thinks that it's him 
And she was like, I don't want to sell to this guy because he, yeah. And then he kind of explained to her what happened. And it goes from there. And it's a little quick read. I think there may be about 100 pages or something. I, I thought it was more than that. And that's why I gave this three star because I just needed more. She didn't, uh, I don't know. Something was missing from the story for me because it was just really, really quick. Sometimes some authors get it right when they write these little novellas and they, they put a lot into the little novella and you get a lot out of it. But this one, it was just really, really quick for me. I gave it three stars. It was okay. Um, it's just about them falling in love. And, and that was it. It was just them meeting and her finally figuring out who he was and stuff like that. But other than that, and her trying to start her business. So that was it. And that's Hard Pass by Sarah Nay. I gave it three stars. Let's see what else we have on here. Um, we're going to go back to Alice Colbright. I told you I had some more of her books on here. This is, so let me start with book one out of this series. Where is it here? So, I really, really enjoyed this series. I gave this whole overall series, the overall, and this is a three book series, is the Baldry's Brothers series. It's three books on the three brothers. I gave the overall series a five star because I gave each one of these books four and a half stars. And the first one is Her Baseborn Bride bridegroom and this all of these are said in medieval times and by alice cole and this is on the second the second brother their dad was not married to his mother the third brother was supposed to marry wrote the heroine in this story uh the third brother was supposed to marry but he heard things about her because she's been locked up for a while because she's got really red hair and she has a whole bunch of freckles. And I guess in those times that people didn't understand why she was covered with freckles and they thought something was wrong with her. And she was always and they thought she wasn't uh, healthy. So they just kept her locked up and, you know, wouldn't let her go outside or whatever. So that's why the third brother thinks something wrong. So he didn't show up. He sent his other two brothers to go and call off the wedding or whatever. But when the second brother meets her. He said, I will marry her. And it's their story of him helping her to come into her own. Because, like I said, they had her locked up. And he just helps her come into her own and show that, you know, there's nothing wrong. With, even though she has freckles, there's nothing wrong with her. I really, really enjoyed the story. And it's going to be um, her uh, stepfather. Is it her father, her cousin, or somebody who was taking care of her? They're going to go to the king and uh, try to stop uh her marrying this guy because they wanted her to marry the the other brother because they know he wasn't going to care because he you know <laughs> he was all over the place they know that he wouldn't try to stop anything they were doing so i guess her uncle yeah i think it was her uncle was just running things and you know she didn't know what was going on but like i said when she married the second brother uh he just helped her come out of come out of her shell and making her realize that her uncle was doing stuff that he didn't need to be doing but i really really enjoyed it i gave it a four and a half stars i know it took me a long time to get around that story but <laughs> I, i'm not good at explaining these books but i really really enjoyed this story so when i read this one i was like look let me read uh book number two in the series and that was uh this was my favorite out of the three books but i gave all of them four and a half star but i really really enjoyed this one it's his forsaken bride and this is on the older brother he's like the king's like a prime minister but you know they didn't call him prime ministers back then i forgot what what they call him but he's uh he handles everything for the king and he always discuss stuff with the king and he he looked like he's really running the kingdom really and he meets um the heroine in this one because when they were real young they were supposed to be married they were married but neither neither one of them knew that they were really married because they were young and but and so she had married somebody else because he had went away to war and his father uh told her father that the wedding was off that yeah yeah his son not going to marry her and um i think she knew that they were married i, I can't because she said her daddy well her father told her that if he wanted to he could try to fight that because they had they made they were really married but he didn't he didn't want to go through all that so her father just left it alone and she ended up marrying somebody else and then come to find out the husband that she married 
I guess this this is a after this thing went on, this is a couple of years after she'd been married to this guy. He falls in love with somebody else and he go to the king and said that he wanted to divorce his wife. He wanted to uh, leave his wife. And when she finds out that, she goes to the king. Um, that's when she goes to the uh, hero because she knows that he has the uh, ear of the king. And, tell, and she take that paper that she had with her and give it to him and show it to him. And that's when he finds out that they were actually married when they were younger. And um, and the king has been on him to get married. So he used that as his excuse, saying that she was never really married to her husband in the first place, that she's really his wife. So it's about a marriage. If you like a trope about a marriage of convenience, well, this is it. His Forsaken Bride by Alice Colbreth. I really, really enjoyed this one because he's kind of cold and stuff. He's kind of hard. And I like those kind of male characters. And he's kind of quiet with his, his alpha maleness. He's just very quiet with it. And you one of them unsuspecting alpha males. <laughs> and she just breaks him on down. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. His Forsaken Bride, Alice Colbreth. That's the book number two in the Valtry Brothers series. And then I also read book three, which is, let me find it here. Here it is right here. So can I get it to come up? Uh, this is book number three, All Ill Made and, and Ill Made Match by uh, Alice Cole Breath. And this one is on the third brother. Um, and he is a, uh, and you're not going to like him in the first book because he very, he don't care about nothing. He just living his life and he don't care who people feelings he hurt or nothing. But in this one, he's become the king's um, jouster. The he's the head jouster for the uh, the king or whatever. I forgot what they call him. The king's I forgot what they call him. But he's a, a good jouster, and that's how he's making his living. Because like, you know, you got the older brother who gets everything, and then the other two brothers just got to make their way. And he is uh, going around to different places, places and jousting. And he ends up, this is another um, marriage of convenience. The, the female just gradually, in this one, she gradually learns to love him and gradually learns to love, you know, making love to him and stuff like that. I love how uh, Alice Cobra writes her love scene. So I really, really enjoyed this one too. I gave this one four and a half stars. Uh, in this one, the, the, um, Older, the third brother redeems himself because in the first book I didn't really like him that much but in this one uh, she wrote it where he's you know he's grown up because in the I think in the first book in the first book he was kind of younger and was feeling himself but in this one he's older he's grown up and he uh, is he has you know more stuff on his shoulder than when he was young and now he has a wife to take care of, and that helps him out too. So I really, really enjoyed this. This is an ill made match by Alice Cobra. Highly, highly recommend this series. I recommend all three books. I think you'll really, really enjoy them. Um, and it does have sexual content in the books. So I'm giving you a warning now if you don't like that in your book, these, uh, this might not, Alice Cobra might not be for you because her books are kind of steamy. But uh, she writes really, really good stories, and I really, really enjoyed it. I enjoyed all three of them. I give that whole series a, a five star. Uh, next I have, let's see. This is Wed by Proxy. This is in the her Brides of Caradoc series. This is book number one. And this one is going to be on... The, the heroine has been married by Proxy. But she's never met because her mother never left... <laughs> Her mother never sent her to the bridegroom. She never went to the bridegroom. She never seen a bridegroom. But she she's married, and her mother is just keeping her under lock and key. So she is her um two of her uh, servants who uh, who help her and are friends with her. They help her escape to go and find her bridegroom, and it's all going to be about her finding the bridegroom because he never did come there because yeah he don't like the. I think he's Welsh or something, you know, they don't get along with the king or whatever. But to make this alliance, they married her to him. But he never went and tried to get his uh his uh, bride. He was like, forget it. I ain't I'm not even going there. So she finds him and it's just about them 
her trying to convince him who she is because he don't believe her at first. So it's just about them finding out who each other are and falling in love. And I really, really enjoyed this one too. I gave this a four star. I would buy it if she had, like I said, I think I mentioned in the other video that if uh, Alice Cobra have ever put any of her books in actual book form, I will be purchasing them. And I will purchase this book. I really, I enjoyed this one, but I gave this one a four star. And this way by proxy by Alice Cobra. So that's my... Those, those are all the books I read in November and December. I'm not going to let those books pile up like that again. I'm going to have to start doing some videos on the books when I finish them because it's hard for me to remember what's going on. And as you can tell, I had a hard time trying to get through those books. Try to, I'm not good at breaking down books and explaining them. <laughs> That's why I don't go on good reason to be writing those. Or not. Sometimes I, I will give a... Um, I will write some on the uh, story, but mostly I just go in there and give, uh, just rate it or whatever. I never go in there and write a whole synopsis of what I thought about the book because I'm not good at explaining. <laughs> That's not my forte. <laughs> but I hope you could get some, I hope you get some good recommendations out of that. I hope I explained it enough that if you want to read it, you'll check it out. But that's all I have for now. Keep reading those romances and stay safe out there. And I'll see you all later. Bye.